All right, I'm going to do a little review on a sport action camera that I recently bought here. It's the CC Better. Um, you can buy it on Amazon. I'm sure there's probably a few other places, maybe eBay, I'm not sure. I, that's where I bought this one, was Amazon. And as you notice, it's a direct knockoff of a GoPro. And I've seen one or two reviews, but they really didn't tell you how it worked. And I think they, one of them was more geared to um, being feedback on Amazon instead of giving you the, a real user look at it. I've only used it a little bit, and um, you know the first question I'm sure everybody has, can a $42 little camera be the same as a GoPro? And the answer is no, unfortunately. Um, you know, it says that it's 1080p, you know, is what they claim there. I would say it's not. I'm not a graphics and computer expert on videos or anything like that, but just from what I've watched, it, it does not do the GoPro quality um, to an extent. So, where does it fail? What I noticed um, is close-up shots within probably five feet it does a really good job. You set it to the highest setting of its resolution and get the exposure right, it will do a good job there. After that, farther away, 10, 12 feet, the image gets grainy. It um, just kind of looks fuzzy in the background. Up close, great. And farther away, not so great. So, you know, it's where a GoPro, if you look, the background images are almost as clear as the front images. Now, of course, this does have the little fisheye lens on it, so, of course, that probably helps distort the video, and, of course, using the little waterproof camera pod thing probably makes the video quality a little less. Um, but, you know, for $42 and some change, it's not a bad, bad camera. So where would you want to use this? You know, um, let's say you're out there in the market and you wanna, you're thinking about buying it. You know, what can I use it for? Um, if you're trying to do things like snowboarding maybe, um, where you're looking at a fairly wide picture, you know, you're not looking at things really, you're, you're looking at some things close, but you want to see the landscape in the background that's perfect and beautiful with the green trees and sticking out of the white snow, this thing's probably not going to do that. Um, you know, you're probably just going to have to get a GoPro or maybe some other brand that somebody's shown a review of, you know, that's better. Where this thing would work, in my opinion, is a place that you want to put a GoPro style camera that you don't care if you lose it or destroy it. This is perfect for that. Um, a good example is guys that drift. You know, if you want to take pictures of your tire burning rubber, you know, this little camera will do that. It'll take a nice clean picture of your rim, your tire, the back quarter panel of the car and the smoke coming out. If the tire explodes and this thing gets knocked off and you run over it and you kill it, not a big deal. Not a $400 camera. 42 bucks. Who cares, right? I mean, you know, I'm, ch I'm cheap, so $42 is a lot of money to me. I'm not that old, but I'm still cheap. But, you know, this is that's where I place this. This would be a camera, and that's what I do in some of my other videos, is I do video stuff of doom buggies and stuff like that. So if I lose this thing in the woods, I really don't care. I probably really care more about my memory card than the camera. Um, it's got some nice benefits. It comes with an arrangement of you know, mounts and stuff. It was made to go on bicycles, apparently. This is like a bicycle mount in some 3M adhesive, which is kind of really cool that they actually stepped up to that, to mount to supposedly like bicycle helmets and stuff. Um, it does come with the watertight enclosure, you know, which is nice. The It comes with an instruction booklet, and the instruction booklet in here does show you, you know, the main functions and stuff, and it also shows you how to arrange the mounts that it comes with to do certain style of stuff, which is kind of nice. So, you know, that's that's pretty good there. Now, um, and I call, it comes with a belt loop hookup, and this also has threads to mount to a tripod. So if you have a tripod and you want to use that and you don't want to use the enclosure because you want sound, then that's pretty cool. This comes with, actually has two tripod mount areas on it, so that's pretty cool. Um, you know, so you can use it for a few other things. This one has a tripod mount built in there too. It does not come with a tripod. It does come with two batteries and the, it comes with a charging cord. It's a micro USB cord and the other end is a USB cord. 
Um, so if you're looking at thinking of plugging this in the wall, you need an adapter to be able to go to a 110 outlet. Um, it comes with a cleaning cloth, which I thought was actually really cool that they did that. Um, the enclosure, like I say, is waterproof, um, which will be good for what I do. It will get m muddy and water, you know, waterlogged. I'm not going to submerge it, but it will be nice to keep the camera relatively clean. The thing about using the enclosure is when you close it up in there, the sound basically goes to zero. So if you're looking to like GoPro cameras, I notice you can hear sound and stuff. Not going to happen in this. It's pretty much going to be zero. You'll still hear a little bit of mumbling, but you're not going to be able to really make it out. Um, the next thing is the batteries. You know, I've hear you know they say it lasts like an hour or so. When you put it on the highest resolution, what I'm noticing is maybe about 30 minutes. So not too big a deal. You have two batteries. You have to charge them inside the camera um, using the port on the side to charge it. So charge both batteries before you use it and then you're good to go. Um, for the price, it's pretty good. Um, the quality to me is not 1080p on the resolution. I'd place it somewhere in between the 480 and 720p. That's just, I'm not an expert on that, but just from the stuff I've seen, that's kind of where I would put it. Um, you know, like I say, it does a good job fairly close up. You know, a couple of feet, you're trying to get a good spot on there. Skateboarders, you know, if you wanted to put it on the skateboard and show your wheels and show some small stunts and stuff like that, it'd probably do pretty good for that. If you're trying to film a whole GoPro video type thing where you're stepping back and you're watching your buddy grind it, grind or ollie, this thing's not going to really do that. Um, that's where GoPro obviously will have a massive advantage. You can you can do better shots in more areas. This thing will not do that. This is more specific to a closer up shot. Um, not like right on, but you know, within like five feet, I'd say you'll get a really nice picture. Um, a good example is if you're sitting in a car and you put it on the um, front windshield facing back towards you, that would be about mediocre. Um, you're going to be able to see the people. You'll see pretty close. Um, you'll be able to see in the back of the car and you'll see outside, but all the picture will be kind of grainy. Now, if you put this thing more directed on one person and it's a little closer, you'll see really nicely. So if that's the type of shots you're thinking of, that's kind of what this car camera will be good for. Like I say, it's good as a disposable camera, in my opinion. Um, does not come with a memory card. You'll have to buy a memory card. They say it supports a 32 gigabyte um, micro SD. So you got to buy one of those. So that does bump the price up, probably another 20 bucks or $10, depending on what you buy. Um, comes with a decent amount of accessories there. Um, you can also buy a damaged version. I did. I bought one that had a damaged box because, like I say, I am cheap. So they knocked off like an extra $5. The packaging was all done really well. Um, nothing was wrong with the camera, just a little dent in the box. So, you know, if you're on the cheap side like me, go for it. You know, their description was exactly like it said. Um, the user guide um, is pretty decent. Um, but the person that wrote it, English is not their first language. So um, some things are backwards sounding when you read it, but you got to remember the person that wrote this, English is not their first language. There's several other languages in there. I know there's Spanish, there's French, there's Japanese, there's a whole bunch of other ones. It has pictures for the most part to show you which pieces are what to turn it on and use it. And it's pretty easy to, to navigate. So overall, not a bad buy, um, not GoPro quality, you know, so if you're looking for a GoPro knockoff that will make a GoPro video, to the same extent, this will not do it. You're looking for a camera that will get you started on some little action shots, but you don't want to spend the $400 or 199 I think it is, for the cheaper GoPro, then this camera will work pretty decent for you. You're still going to have to have another camera to do farther out, wider shots, um, because this one's just not there yet. So, you know, I thought this would be a good little video and um, there will probably be some shots I'll put in here of me using it to show you. It also has a camera inside and to take still shots, which is kind of nice. The pictures still, once again, are not, in my opinion, what they say they are, but, you know, it is nice to have that option if you needed it. Um, so it has a whole bunch of other features other people will tell you a whole bunch on. I'll just kind of cut it short, you know, and tell you, for the price, it's nice. Not GoPro, 
but you know a good one camera to get started probably and if you don't mind losing it if you lost it for some reason you're not going to really you know worry about it you'll probably be more worried that you lost the memory card all right so that's my review on the cc better and hope you all have a good night